we're going to look at the ingredients list uh, for the alto saxophone cookbook. The first pit exercise from the ingredients list we're going to look at is the basics. And the basics are simply starting at our first note B, playing four A's, and then going down to four G's. This is what it's going to sound like. B, you're going to need your first finger down, A, your first and second finger down, and G, all three fingers down. Think of it as if your fingers are walking down the saxophone. B, A, G. The other two things you have to remember before you play this exercise is keep your fingers nice and curled so you're not hitting any side keys at the bottom or at the top of your instrument. Also, make sure you're always taking a nice big breath and you're using a tea tongue before you start. Once again, here's the basics. Big breath, tea tongue. exercise is entitled more spice. For this one we're going to start at the G, move up to A, move up to B, and then end with the new note C. So remember G is all three fingers down. A, first and second finger down. B, just the first finger down. And to get a C you're simply going to put just your second finger down. I'll go through it again. G, all three down. A, first and second finger down. B, first finger down. And C, just your middle finger down. So here's what more spice is going to sound like. Starting at G, working up to C. trouble with the G notes. Remember, to get a G out, all you need is just a little bit of mouthpiece. If you have too much mouthpiece in your mouth, you're going to get a high squeaky G, which we don't want. Also, try and keep your mouth relaxed. Lots of air. So here's what our G's sound like. Make sure before you go on to play this whole exercise, you've got to make sure you start on that solid G. One more time, here's what more spice sounds like. And the last exercise is called D train. D train is simply a set of four D quarter notes followed by four rests. D quarter notes, four rests, D quarter notes. Here's what it's going to sound like. Rest, 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 rest. Rest, 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 rest. To play a D on your saxophone, it's going to be your first, second, third finger on your left hand, your first, second, third finger on your right hand, and also the thumb key on the back. Don't be afraid to tighten up your corners of your lips just a little bit to get that D out. Here's what our D sounds like. One, two, three on the top. One, two, three on the bottom and the thumb key. Here's D train again. All D's and rests. Rest, 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 rest. 
Rest, 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 rest. As always, for all of these notes, always start with lots of air and start the note with the T-tom.